a chain drive on a Harley Davidson. That's something we haven't seen for a while. Hello again, welcome back to my garage. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over the steps that I do to clean and maintain the chain on my Harley Davidson Pan America. Uh, so we'll start with cleaning the chain, right? On a chain drive motorcycle, you need to clean and re-lubricate the chain every so often. And according to Harley Davidson, they say that should be done every 600 miles on this motorcycle. So we'll go ahead, gather up the materials that we're going to need for this project, and we'll get started. Supplies and tools that you will need for cleaning and lubricating the chain include some cardboard, absorbent mats, and a drip tray to help avoid making such a mess. Your chain cleaning and lubrication products of choice. Your cleaning brushes and a uh, scrap rag or towel. And some gloves so you don't make a complete mess of yourself as well. All right, so first we'll take our cardboard and I like to cut it out so that it goes around the axle like so. So we can still spin the wheel. And this is also gonna help prevent and keep overspray of cleaning and lubrication product getting on the wheel. I'll lay down some absorbent mats to help absorb any cleaning material that drips down. Like so, and then I also put a drip tray right underneath where I'm gonna be doing the bulk of my cleaning and spraying. So there's several products out on the market for cleaning a motorcycle drive chain, specifically safe for cleaning O-ring, X-ring motorcycle chains. And any of them are going to do a good job of keeping your chain clean. Now, when we talk about chain cleaning products, you know, a lot of times the only thing more controversial and more opinionated is going to be talking about things like politics, religion, COVID vaccines, and engine oil. Uh, so I don't, I'm not going to get into the specifics of is this the best, is it better than that. So I just stick with kerosene. I buy it, you know, get a gallon, fill up with a gallon of it at the uh, gas station, and then I just keep it in a spray bottle. It's cheap, it's effective, and it's what I want to use to clean this Pan Am chain here today. All right, so we're going to start by just getting the chain soaked in the kerosene and of course having it up on the center stand right makes this easy to do just using one hand to rotate the wheel as I give it a good dousing and I keep going until I get to and see where the chain is already wet That should be good. All right, so next we're gonna give this chain a good brushing. And one popular tool to do this is something, a three-sided brush, this one's called the grunge brush. And it works really well for getting three sides of the chain at once. You just scrub back and forth like so. Flip it around this way to get the other side. Maybe come underneath. Get that really good, All right? And then we rotate and go to the next session section, and that'll work. I prefer these 360 brushes, and they're a little clunky at first um, until you get used to it. You got to thread it onto the chain, and that part can be a little, a little tricky as you got to stretch it out and. Twist it over there. Just wrap it all around. There we go. Okay. So what's nice about this is once you have it on there, and you get all around the chain as you're turning it. Okay. And it just seems to go a lot faster this way. Scrub, let's move it some. Some more scrubbing. Turn it around a little bit, just to make sure we're getting the fresh bristles everywhere. There we 
just do a few laps with this, getting the chain all the way around. Also, go the other way just to force the bristles to move and bend in the other direction to really get in between those plates and scrub out any gunk. All right, that should be good. We'll go ahead and take our brush off the chain. There we go. And I want to give it another go around and just spray, just to clean off anything that we loosened up. What I like to do next is take an old terry cloth towel, right? One that uh, you're willing to ruin or is, you know, dedicated for this. And I like to go around and just kind of use the towel because the towel is going to get in there and just soak up some of that dirt and kerosene in between those plates there. You can also get in now and clean up the teeth of the sprocket. Some of that gunk right, is coming off back here, so that get this nice and clean. And this is a good time to be inspecting your sprocket for any signs of uneven wear. Basically, if any of these teeth start looking like saw blade teeth, where they have a little bit of a curve to them, then it's time to be replacing it. All right, what I like to do next now is just rinse the chain uh, with just a spray bottle with some plain water. Just to try and rinse out Take our towel again and just go around a bit to help dry it off. Alright, you can just also go in and wipe up any overspray you've gotten on the bike. Now that the chain is clean, it's time to re-lubricate the chain. Uh, with modern O-ring chains, there's a lubrication inside the chain permanently, as far as inside, in there where that pin would go through. Uh, from the factory, that gets uh, some grease applied in there, and then the O-rings that are in between the plate and the roller that are 
when these plates are pressed and these uh, rivets are pressed in, uh, these O-rings keep that grease inside. So as far as the lubrication that's needed to make the chain be flexible and bend like that, uh, that lubrication is permanently inside from the factory. What we're doing when we lubricate the chain is we're lubricating the surface of those O-rings, right? Those rubber O-rings that are in there so that they don't dry out, uh, deteriorate and dry rot, uh, helping to keep that factory grease inside. Also, the lubrication that we're applying is going to get underneath the rollers that roll around as it's engaging with the sprocket. And best products for doing that, well, that's just as controversial as a topic as products for cleaning the chain. There's several different uh, chain, commercial chain lubricants. Um, you can also use gear oil. Um, me personally i prefer lubricants that uh, stick to the chain right because a lot of your more oily type lubricants as you ride uh, that oil will tend to fling out and it can make a mess on the motorcycle i've been using bell ray super clean um, what i like is that you spray it on and it starts out really liquidy so that it can seep in and get in between all of this uh, but then after a few minutes, it tacks up into a uh, kind of a grease-like consistency. Now, one thing I did forget to mention earlier in the video is that it's generally recommended that you do your chain lubrication while the chain is warm, meaning right after you've been riding it for a little bit. Um, I'm filming this video in Pennsylvania in the middle of December. Uh, so no, I did not take the bike out for a ride today. It's a, it's a bit chilly out today. All right, so the first pass with the chain lube is to get right on top uh, the, the part of the chain that's going to come in contact with the sprocket. So. Let me just spray a section, turn the wheel. Spray, turn, until you get all the way around, just like that. All right, so now that we have it all the way around, we'll go ahead and spin the wheel a bit just to work the pins and the rollers. Get that lubricant flowing in there. So next what I do is I come to the back and I try and spray like this to get the back side of the chain. And I'm also really trying to direct it to get it more, a little bit more on this side that I didn't reach so much. when I did it the first time. And then again, we'll just keep giving up some spins, let that chain move around, get that lubricant worked in. And then I take my rag and I wipe off any overspray from these parts of the bike on the skid plate here and whatnot. All right, so we got the chain clean. We got it freshly lubricated. Again, that's something that Harley says you should be doing uh, every 600 miles on this bike. Uh, in the next video, we'll get into checking and adjusting the chain slack, uh, as well as I'll show you a way that you can check and make sure that your rear axle is in alignment. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to check out that next video. Thank you.